Okay, so now that my inks are prepared, I'm gonna quickly just blow dry my plate just to make sure that it is dry and that that monotype base that I put on the plate so that way the inks will release onto the paper is completely dry before I put more ink um, onto the plate or well, before I put the ink onto the plate. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna take my plate, I'm gonna go ahead and put it over top of my sketch, and then I'm going to take my inks and I'm going to go ahead and start painting my image. So um, whatever you put down on the plate first is what's going to be the top layer of color when the print is made. So if you're thinking about um, layering colors, you want the color to be the, um, maybe think about like having your highlights painted in first, um, which brings me to another point about the inks as well. There is white ink. Um, however, if you're working on white paper, you could just allow a space in the plate um, to not have ink on it and then the white paper will show through that. Um, and this will have an interesting texture to it as well. So that's just something to think of. Um, now, the inks can be mixed, they can be thinned with water, um, they can be applied with different textures. I recommend always mixing a little bit of the monotype base with the inks just because it tends to allow them to re release from the plate a little bit easier. Um, thicker inks will spread when they're printed with the press. Thin layers can be built up like glazes, like in a painting. Um, and then just remember that your image is going to be reversed. So if for any reason you're including any kind of a text or numbers in your piece, that must be reversed on when you're printing it on when you're painting it on the plate. Um, so make sure that you're painting a mirror image of what you actually want to show up in your finished piece. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start painting my pair.